I know that some wait for December to officially be here. Some just wait for the end of Thanksgiving to roll around and then they kind of switch to Christmas. Today's forecast is going to be an only if it can't wait scenario, especially for outdoor lights because our temperatures are going to be cold. There's still a bit of a breeze this morning and yep, the cold has definitely settled on in here past the front we had front we had yesterday all across the area. We're waking up to temperatures about 20 to 30 degrees colder. Check out Mansfield. They are the coldest from this time yesterday, literally at almost 30 degrees from this time you stepped out the door. So where does it put us when it comes to temperatures? Well, our air temperatures, they're basically all in the 20s, 25 in Worcester, 27 in Elyria. But how does it feel to you outside? Because the number in blue is the key number this morning. If you have a moment to take a look at your screen, check these out because we have dropped when it comes to wind chills into the teens. In fact, some of you closer to the single digits like Worcester right now, sitting at a feels like temperature of 12 right now. You're going to need the layers. You're going to have to bundle yourself up. And if you do yourself, just remember if it's cold to you, it's probably cold to your pets. Make sure your kiddos, the grandkids are all bundled to a tee this morning. Our winds are still sustained anywhere between 10 to 25 miles per hour. Gusts still around 30, especially downtown. So they'll start to ease on up as high pressure is in the driver's seat of today's forecast. But the cold front, it made itself known all the way up and down the eastern seaboard, all the way through the deep south. But what high pressure is going to do to us is actually going to filter in drier air. So all those flurry chances, some of the snow belt, we're experiencing late last night kind of cut off, but it also will ease back and erode the cloud cover. So we'll start cloudier and we'll become mostly sunny as we head throughout your Thursday. But it's definitely cold for November or December standards as we switch the month here. I have to remind myself too. We're in the mid 30s today. We should be in the mid 40s for this time of the year. But what happens tomorrow? That's where we start to change things once again. If you don't like today, they say wait a couple days in Northeast Ohio because you might like the next couple because tomorrow on the hour we start in the 30s like where our high temperatures will be today. And then we end up in the 50s. The winds will pick on up a little extra sunshine in the morning, but the clouds thicken up. Our rain chances increase as we head through the evening and the rain will swing through probably before you're even up on Saturday. But that means in your union home mortgage extended forecast, temperatures will start to plummet once again as we head through the weekend. We just did this whole thing. You should know it by now. We're back in the 40s by Sunday. We stay in the 40s for Monday. Then our next system arrives Monday into Tuesday. Danielle, we can do it. We can get through it, but it's a new <laughs> month and hey, we're just starting a little bit more on the festive side when it comes to temperatures. I think in December, everybody's okay with the cold weather. I hope so. By the time we get to March, we're like, get on out of here. Exactly. Thank you, Peyton.